I'm going to show you some of the tools I used outside of that impact gun to take the screws out. And Actually, the screws were unscrewed. Somebody knew that radio was bad. I have the camera, I think, at the right angle where you're going to be able to see this uh, stereo. This is what you end up with with the epoxy. See the bracket? This is a slide. That's on the back of your original OEM radio. And watch this. Hopefully YouTube will do this as a short, but I want you to pay attention to this green wire. It's kind of greenish and not the second one, but it's this end wire on this plug. These are your speakers here, and there's only two. This is your power and your input and your ground. <clears throat> this wire here in the end, that's your residual. <coughs> that's going to go to your, <coughs> your big yellow. You see? Now watch this. There's a track up top here, and this radio will slide right into the factory position. There we go. Well, it's being a little resistant. There you go. There it is. You've got to be in every video knocking everything over. I know. The orange cat is here. Anyway, there's cigarette ashes and crap all over the truck that I want to clean out before it gets dark. And I want to get myself something to eat. Okay, so there's your install. And I'm going to show you how it's, it is. Say hi to everybody. Oh, now you get shy. Oh. <laughs> That's why we call him Orange Man Bad or Orange Cat Bad. I refer to him as Orange Cat Bad. Okay, this is your perfect mounting. Okay, if you have to hog out, say the thing is a little slanted or crooked, you just hog those holes out and the bolts will correct it. Okay, you're not going to get those brackets exact the way the radio is designed with that, that the... Uh, the chassis design, it, it, it guides your drill bit all over. You're not even going to do it with a drill press, okay? You're just going to have to take your time, and it's a summertime project. I'm going to let the glue dry, but that's going to be a perfect install. It's just like the factory radio. Now, you might have a little gap once I put that back in there. I will feature that. I will, I will give you a part three. Number one, I want to get in there with my little, uh, my little cleaning device. And get behind there and get some of that dirt out of there and dust and like i said this truck sat a better part of 20 some years and like i said it was another project i kind of regretted doing but i don't know where you're going to find an old truck like this everywhere i go people people are beeping at me giving me a thumbs up on this girl and i, I am going to correct this uh, clear coat on this bed it's just like i said we're having perpetual storms intense heat and that's all from this military crap. But I'm going to put my toys away. As I said, it was beer 30. I got garbage laying, which I don't let. I'm kind of military. I, I've had so many projects this week of things breaking. Um, the tractor, I, I put a uh, new solenoid in and a new starter switch, and my tractor's just fine. All right. Take it from me. Everything is not as it seems. Just be patient, and if you want to put a stereo in your 1988 Ford, that's how you do it.